I don't really um, do makeup very often, like like fancy makeup. Um, I'm usually just kind of a wings and mascara kind of girl. Um, but I thought I would do this just for fun. I'm going to be doing um, kind of flower winged eyeliner. It's kind of a new thing, um, and I've never tried it before, so I thought I would do that on camera, which is a really bad idea, so <laughs> mistakes cometh. So um, I always line the top of my waterline um, because I think it makes your eyelashes look fuller to have that underneath the, the lashes makes them look darker um, because I, I like to do the waterline because I think it makes the lashes look darker and fuller um, and if you you can do the bottom lash as well I used to do that all the time um, and it can make your eyes look more focused but it also makes them look smaller um, so, you know, it's your choice. Depends on what you're going for. When I do um, my upper lash line, uh, it sometimes will transfer down to the lower lash line anyway. So, um, I have kind of stopped doing both. Um, yeah, and, and it kind of makes your eyes look cleaner, I think, to not have the bottom lash done. So, okay, so we've lined our lash line. The next thing I'm going to do is my brows. Um, I like to color my brows in um, with either purple or green. Today I'm doing green because I'm doing the flowers and also because I have a lot of purple going on and so I feel like the green will help accent the green in my hair and it'll also um, go with the green that I'm doing for the, for the eyeliner. So um, I don't really do anything fancy. I don't even really keep a specific shape. I just fill in where I have hair on my brows, of course. Um, I don't really manicure my brows very much, so they're not like sculpted, there's no specific shape. Um, I just kind of do whatever looks the best. <laughs> um, and I don't think you can really see the color on camera. It's really, it's quite subtle because I have really dark brows anyway, so um, Sorry, I live in the city. That's what that beeping is. It's a truck outside. Um, yeah, so because my brows are quite dark, it's really, this best. Will, this will best show up, like, in the sun. I have, like, one, one hair that I can see. <laughs> kind of sticking out. Okay. Wow, that truck is really annoying. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, um, once I fill in with a pencil, I go in with just um, a an eyeshadow. I'm using a green that's actually lighter than the um, eyeliner color the, than the pencil. Um, and again, you probably really cannot see the color. That's fine. Um, I do this second coat to make the color more prominent. Again, it shows up better really in like natural light. Um, but I also do it to kind of set it. I don't really know if it's effective. It, I just do it. I, it makes me feel better. <laughs> I do think it looks better that way anyway. And, um, like I said, this color is lighter than the actual, um, pencil that I used. So, um, I feel like it shows up a little better this way. I couldn't find a lighter shade of eyebrow pencil. Or, well, it's, it's really an eyeliner. But I use it on my, my eyebrows. Oh, it says eye and eyebrow. Fancy. It's um, a NYX pencil. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And the brush that I use for my eyebrows is just this thing. Um, I'm pretty sure it's an eyebrow brush. And uh, I guess I just kind of like dip it in the eyeshadow and I do that. You could use a brush. I do that. I have one for purple, but I don't feel like washing it off, so... I just use this. It works really just as well. Um, okay, so now I'm going to be doing the actual eyeliner part. My favorite uh, version of this that I've seen so far, I saw a, a tutorial on YouTube. Um, maybe I can link it below. Um, 
because what I like that this person did was that they made the wing like this big green leaf, um, which I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing almost all of this with, again, um, NYX. These are Vivid Brights. I have green in Vivid Envy and two purples. I have Vivid Blossom and Vivid Violet. Um, yeah. So I'm going to be using those for the colors. And then also I have um, a Rimmel show-off lip lacquer um, in red that I'm going to be using because I don't have enough colors to like put dots in all of them. So I'm going to be using this as a dot um, for one of them. I haven't completely decided yet. So, um, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wing with the green and then we're going to put the flowers on after that. Here's hoping it goes well. I'm actually gonna pick up my mirror because I do so much better when I have my mirror like right in front of my face. At least for winged eyeliner. So, Also, if you can hear the rustling in the background, that's my kitten playing with a box. <laughs> so. I'm trying to keep it relatively thin. I'm not even sure if I want to go all the way across the eye because I'm going to have to draw flowers over it anyway. So I'm thinking maybe if I just kind of make it generally leaf-like, then I can do the rest of the flowers and I don't really have to worry about having the line like connected across the lid. Oh, speaking of kitten, there she goes. Okay, I did the first one, now we gotta make the other one match, which is the thing that I'm really the least good at. Okay, okay. Alright, I'm gonna get close maybe you guys can see so it's kind of a light color but you can kind of see it going up there right there yep so that's the wing part and now we're gonna do like the actual across the lid liner part um, so what I what I have I have two colors I wish I had a white um, eyeliner like a white liquid eyeliner but I don't um, you could do this with really any, <laughs> there she is, um, you could do this with really any combination of colors, um, NYX has like pinks and greens and yellow and probably white as well, I'm sure there's red, um, I just happen to only really pick up one, um, extra color, you know, I had this one before, um, I just picked up the green, so I'm just gonna kind of go for it and see what works, um, the suggestion, I would suggest doing at least two different color flowers um, to give it some variation instead of just making it look kind of like clumpy eyeliner. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. That's the baby. There she is. Oh shit. <laughs> I dropped it. It's okay though, it didn't spill, so.
So I'm not really being too precise. You can probably see I've kind of got like a clump there, a clump there, and a clump there. Um, and yeah, so I'm not really being precise. I'm just kind of making petal-like shapes. You can do this by either kind of like drawing dots like a, like a grape, um, or you could do it like, um, I got eyeliner on my lid. Uh, don't close your lids before it's dry if you've got hooded lids like me. Um, yeah, so you could either do dots like grapes or you could just kind of draw like lines that intersect like X's and then just kind of make them look kind of plump so that they do look like a flower instead of like a wheel or something. One of the other tutorials that I saw doing this kind of did like half flowers across the lash line so like basically you draw a half circle or a half flower with the flat part being your your eyelid that way you don't have to try and like make a whole flower which might look silly I'm not really sure um, it depends on how well you do it I guess And you do want to make the flower smaller as you get closer to your inner corner just because you will have less space to work with anyway. Um, and you want to make them kind of fit in the space you have available. Okay, so I've done the dark purple. Now I'm going to do the light purple. What I'm thinking I'll probably end up doing is I'll do light purple with a purple, like a dark purple center, and the dark purple with a red center. And I'm hoping it'll look good. It might be easier for you to do this with your um, eyes open a little bit just because you'll be able to see a little bit better. You're not going to be like squinting trying to figure out where your brush really is because of, you know, the different way that your, your eyes work. Again, I'm, I'm really not being precise. Um, I'm just trying to kind of fill in the blocks where there's no color and, you know, just give them ridges like petals. And um, I kind of alternated. So, like, on this end, I have light purple on the farthest outside and I'm going to have dark purple on the farthest inside. And then this way it's going to be opposite, just because I think the alternation is kind of cool.
<laughs> All right. Now I've decided that the purples are light, like different enough in color that I can make them each other's dots in the middle, and I'm not going to use the red because the red is a it's a lipstick, and it doesn't have a pointed applicator. And so I was going to try and use this bobby pin and you can still do this um like dip it in and i was hoping that this would make a small enough circle that that the like doe foot applicator wouldn't be able to do um but i'm not going to do that but if you know if you don't have enough colors you can definitely try it so instead i'm going to make the dark purple the center on the light purple flowers and vice versa You just want to be careful and take your time. Um, obviously, since I'm not going for like a totally um, like polished look, it's okay if you mess up a little bit, but you want to be careful just trying to get this dot close to the center. And you don't want to make it look like you messed up another flower. And now for the light color. <laughs> my cat's playing with my makeup. Stop it. <laughs> that brush is not for you, silly. Say hi. No, you just want to play with my makeup. Hey, that's you. <laughs> She's fascinated by mirrors. It's really cute. But I mean, to be fair, so am I. I think she's a little freaked out because she's like, you've got a cat in that thing? Okay, I finished the eyeliner. I like the way it looks. I mean, it's pretty obvious. I feel, at least to me, that it's the first time that I ever did this. Um, but this is what it looks like. Hopefully, it's coming across well. Not really sure because, obviously, this isn't the best quality camera. I'm just using the webcam on my... I'm just using the webcam on my computer. So, you know, the color... Picking up the colors... I mean, I'm just using the webcam on my computer, so it doesn't really pick up colors the best. Um, so, that's okay. But I, I like the way it turned out. Um, now I'm just going to do the rest of my makeup. So, usually what I do for makeup is, like I said, I'm usually just kind of a wings and an eyeliner kind of girl. But I did leave out that I also like to wear glitter on a daily basis um, so I'll be showing you that as well right now I'm using the uh, what is this I don't know the brand Vol voluminous right now I'm using voluminous butterfly sculpt it's got this cool purple container and that's really the only reason I picked it up um, and I'm not really sure how much I like it it's got this interesting applicator um, and make sure your lashes kind of stick together just a little bit. Kind of like, I don't know, a fan. I don't know if that makes any sense. Anyway, putting on my mascara. Doing the mascara face. 
And you want to be careful, of course, while you're putting on the mascara, not to get your eyeliner art. Gently follow up with the bottom lashes. Ta-da! Um, this is optional, of course. Everything I'm doing here is optional. Um, I have purple glitter, and I like to put purple glitter on my eyelashes. I don't know if I'm going to do it today. Um, not sure if it's going to stick. No, I'll just take that out. Okay, um, after you do your mascara, uh, I like to do, I don't really contour, but I like to highlight, and the reason I like to highlight is because I do it with pure glitter. Um, I have this glitter pot from Sephora. It's called Addicted, that's the shade, Liquid Metals Silver Flake. It says lit on the top, so I don't know if that's like the brand or what it's called. I'm not sure. I've only shopped at Sephora once. Um, and so I just use like this kind of a, it's broken, but this kind of a brush. Um, you get kind of a lot on there, so you want to be careful because with this, it will kind of clump up because I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be used as an eyeshadow. And so like if you have too much, it'll get pigmented and it'll look a little funny. Not like really funny, but just a little bit. And so I really, like, I try and brush it gently onto this area of my face. I like to highlight up here, like this. Um, and then I also kind of do this part. I focus down here, and I try and spread out the sparkle so it looks nice, not clumpy, um, but so it's pretty, like, concentrated right here. On this area and then I'll just kind of wipe the extra along my hairline um, if I have like a lot on my brush and I don't want to use it all or I don't want it to clump sometimes I'll like brush it into my hair um, because I think it looks pretty um, to have sparkly hair so yeah so I just do this um, with this color and then I also use um, this is NYX's face and body glitter in um, ice. It's a white shade, um, but it picks up kind of like greens and yellows, so um, it's really nice to kind of... <laughs> Sorry, the cat just fell down. Um, it's nice to use them both, I feel, because one of them has like a really warm tone and the other one has a cool tone, and I like the, the combination. So this one you also get quite a bit on your, on your brush, and when I have like a lot, I like to start kind of up here. And especially with this one, I will dot it on both sides so that I don't get too much on one side of my face and not the other. So I start here because I feel like it's more... Excuse me, cat. Hey! <laughs> She's behind my computer and moving the thing around. Um, yeah, so I'll start up here because I feel like it's okay for it to look more concentrated here. And then I'll bring it down into my cheek area. And then once I'm done, I kind of wipe along my hairline like I did before. And I'm not in the sun. I normally do my makeup like right in the window because I get a lot of sun through there and it's easy to see kind of what my face will look like in natural lighting. Um, and oops. and um, I can see kind of like how much sparkles I have just so I know that it looks good. Um, but I'm not doing that because I'm filming at my desk area. So it's going to look a little different. Um, yeah, and that's basically, like, all I do sometimes I will do, like, concealer if I'm breaking out or if I have, like, a spot that I, like, picked at or something, um, and so I'll do that. I don't like having foundation on my full face. Um, I just don't like the way it feels. And there's the cat again. You can't really see her. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Do you want to be a star? Hmm? Oh, I love you too. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's my finished look. Um, 
There it is. Again, color pickup is not great, but, you know, that's okay. I did my best. So, thank you for joining me, and uh, goodbye.